Hello, this is Math Jazz from Almost Cool. This is our fifth derivative quiz. Our topic today is the chain rule. As with all of our quizzes, I will read the questions to you, and then you can pause the video to work out your solutions. After you've done so, unpause the video, and I will show you the correct solutions, and you can see if you got your answers right. So, without further ado, question one. Find the derivatives of the following functions. a. f of x equals e to the tangent squared x. b. g of x equals cotangent of tangent of x. c. h of x equals natural log of sine of x. And problem two. Find the tangent line for f of x equals x squared plus one to the fourth at the point where x equals two. You can pause the video now, and when you unpause it, I'll give you the solutions to the problems. Question 1a. Find the derivative of f of x equals e to the tangent squared of x. First, we're going to split the function into three functions, each one composed with the next. So, f of x equals u of v of w of x, where u of x is e to the x, v of x is x squared, and w of x equals tangent of x. We're going to write these functions as um, the elements of a column, uh, of the left column of this table, and we're going to put the derivatives in the right column of this table. Now, to find the derivative, we're just going to take every element in this, this middle column and plug in the, val the function that is down to the left of it, and then plug into that function, the function underneath it, all the way down until we hit this x at the bottom. So, so we get e to the tangent squared of x in our third column over here. And we're just going to save that for later. We move on to the next element in this middle column. We have 2x, and we plug in tangent, and into the tangent we plug x, and we get 2 tangent of x, and we'll write that over here in the third column. Now, we take the third element in this column, secant squared, and we will plug in x, and that gives us three, uh, three composed functions here, and the product of these three functions, that is 2 e to the tangent squared x times tangent times secant squared x is the derivative of f. So this table method is a nice way of just organizing where everything goes in the chain rule. 1b, find the derivative of g of x equals cotangent of tangent of x. Well, first we have to split this function into two functions, cotangent of x and tangent of x. And we make our columns and we put the derivatives in the second column. Now for each element in the second column, we will plug in the element of the first column that is one row below, and we'll go all the way down to the bottom, like so. So we get negative cosecant squared tangent of x as our element, the first element in our third column. For the second element in our third column, we take the second element in our second column and plug in the third element in our first column, just following this line here. And then we multiply all of the elements in our third column together to get the derivative of our function g of x. So g prime of x equals negative cosecant squared of tangent of x times secant squared of x. Problem C. We set up the same table that we did before. We notice that our outside function is the natural log, our inside function is sine. The derivatives of these are 1 over x and cosine, respectively. We fill out this table. We plug sine of x into 1 over x. We plug x into cosine. And then we multiply cosine by 1 over sine x to get cotangent. And cotangent is the derivative of h of x. 
Problem 2. Find the tangent line for f of x equals x squared plus 1 to the 4th at the point x equals 2. First we're going to find the derivative. We do that using the chain rule and we could set up a chart just like we did for the other three derivatives we found with the chain rule. Um, I've skipped directly to writing out the derivative. We plug in the point 2 and we get 2000 as the slope of our tangent line. We need to find the y-coordinate of our tangent line or sorry, of the point at which the tangent line hits the curve. So we plug 2 into f of x and get 625. So now we need to plug the point 2, 625 into the point slope equation with the slope being 2000. We get y minus 625 equals 2000 times x minus 2. And that is the tangent line 4f at the point x equals 2. Thank you for watching this video. Contact information is on the screen. I hope that you're enjoying learning calculus, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.